guys, so this is gonna kind of be a tutorial showing you guys some simple effects you can use in your travel edits. So let's get started with the video. So I have my clips right here. I have like five clips and I'll show you different things you can use to make a cool edit. For my first two clips, I have me swimming underwater in the pool and then my second clip has the sand dunes, me running in the sand dunes. So I can kind of see how the blue of the water matches with the sky in the next clip. So you kind of want to use clips next to each other that have similar things in the clip, like movement or like the sky color like I was showing you guys. So I'm going to use keyframes and scale and directional blur to show you this cool transition. And this was inspired by Brendan Hayward, I think. Someone commented saying I should check out his video and show you guys some of the little tricks and effects he used in the video. So I'm gonna go to my scale of my first clip and then I'm gonna press the keyframe button towards the end where I want the transition to happen. So I'm gonna press the keyframe button for scale and position Then I'm gonna go to the end of the clip and I'm gonna drag the scale towards the blue corner so to towards the right corner where it's really blue. So I'm just gonna adjust the position and scale so that you can see mostly that blue part. Then I'm just gonna move the keyframes to the very end of the clip. So you can see that it scales up. Now for the next clip, I'm gonna scale out from that sky. So I'm gonna go a couple frames forward and then press the two keyframe buttons for scale and position. Then I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the clip and I'm gonna scale it in and adjust the position so that it's coming from the sky. If we watch it back, we can see this little scale coming from the sky and then yeah it does this quick little transition so if you want to spread out the keyframes you can do that as well. Now I'm also going to go to effects and search up directional blur and I'm going to put that on both of the clips. Then I'm going to drag the bar to where the keyframe first starts and I'm going to press the keyframe button for blur length and then go all the way to the end of the clip and I'm going to make that blur length like 22 and you can just adjust the direction wherever you want. So now as it's zooming in it has this blur effect. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my second clip. So I added directional blur on this clip and then I'm going to adjust the blur length to 22 at the beginning and 73 and then I'm going to go a couple frames forward and then when it fully scales out I'm going to make a keyframe to make it back at zero. So if we watch it back, it scales in and out with some blur in it. Okay, now I want to show you another simple trick. Okay, so I'm going to go to my second clip. And because this is kind of on a tripod and it's not moving at all, I want to play around with some of the scale. I already put a keyframe before to make the scale go back to 100. But instead, I'm going to go back to that keyframe and adjust it to be more in. So I'll do like 125. And then I'm going to go a couple frames forward. And then I'm going to press the keyframe button again. And then I'm going to go a couple frames forward again. And then make the scale back to 100. Okay, so if we watch it back, it sort of scales out. And this is where I'd match it to the music so that it scales out at like a beat part. So I'm going to drag the bar to where our third scale keyframe is at. Then I'm going to scroll down and go to directional blur and I'm going to press the blur length keyframe button again. Then I'm going to go to the middle of the keyframes and then I'm going to make the blur to 27. Then I'll go a little bit forward again and then go to zero. So what this is going to do is while it's scaling out, it's going to blur it. So we can apply this little trick to a lot of different things. So I'm going to go to this next clip and I'm just going to drag my last two clips further back so I can just work with this middle clip. And then I'm going to just cut it somewhere in the middle where I want to. I'm going to press Command R for speed and I'm going to change the speed to 1000. So it'll speed up really fast. Then I'm just going to cut it to where I want to cut it. So basically it speeds a lot at the very end. Now I'm just going to add directional blur on this 
sped up part and I'm gonna make the blur length as much as I want I'm just gonna go to 17 and then change the direction to 39 then I'm just gonna scale it in a bit so you don't see that black edges and then I'm just gonna delete the space between that and my next clip and let's watch it back and we'll see it has this cool little blur going on and yeah it's kind of just a quick little transition to go to a next clip now let's move on to our fourth clip so I can actually do the same thing I'm just gonna cut a little chunk of the piece and then I'm gonna add directional blur on it and then I'm gonna change the blur length to 21 and 19 honestly I'm just doing random numbers here um, and then I'm gonna scale it in a bit so this is where you'd again match it to the beat of the music and I'm also just gonna speed it up to 400 by pressing command R 400 so yeah that's the whole video I just wanted to kind of show you guys some tr simple tricks you could add to your video and I don't know make it look cooler yes this was kind of inspired by Brendan Hayward so yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in my next one bye